Hi, David Breslow here again, founder of the Personal Best Academy and author of Wired to Win. Today I want to talk to you, the tennis player, about the mental game. And if any of you know anything about me, then you know that I have a, a different take on what I look at the mental game and, and what it really is. I know traditional sports psychology tends to look at the mental game as this part of your game. And actually, when I talk to tennis players across the country, because I do a lot of presentations and I work one-on-one -on -one with folks, and most of them relate the mental game to me as if it's something separate from their game. And they do this when they say things like, uh, hey Dave, I, I really need to work on my mental game. Or my mental game wasn't very good today when they didn't play very well or had lost a match of some kind. But here's what I'd like you to know. When I teach the mental game, it actually is not part of your game. It is your game. And when I say this to people in presentations, I see the looks on their faces. They're generally looking at me like, what? what? Are you kidding me? What do you mean it is my game? What about mechanics? What about managing the court and managing the match when things are going on? And I say, well, that's great. The mental game is still 100% of your game. And when you start changing your mindset about that, when you start seeing that the mental game really is 100% of your game, your game can start to change almost immediately because you're different. And here's what I mean by that. I say it's 100%, and of course, every time I say that, I'll tell people I can prove it to you because everything I talk about and I teach is not based on psychological theories or models or constructs. You don't have to be proven these things. You don't have to be talked into these things. I teach that there are laws of human performance and these laws are provable and they're undeniable. So you don't have to try to figure anything out. Just like this. The mental game, the way I teach it, has four components to it. Four components. And they're very simple. It's not rocket science. They are your mind, your body, your emotions, and the spirit of you. And when I say the spirit, I don't mean spirituality or religion, unless you want it to mean that. I mean spirit in terms of it's the core essence of who you are. It's the strongest part of you. And so it's always involved. And so here's what I mean. Here's the proof. Every time you put your hands on the tennis racket, all four of those elements are in play. Aren't they? I dare you to find a time when that's not true. And I've had people say to me, well, I'm going to find a time, Dave. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you that you're wrong. I've been doing this for 25 years. Nobody has ever found a time when all four of those elements were not in play. They have to be. They're connected. So when I say the mental game is 100% of your game, it's because the way I teach it, it is 100% of your game. You can't get away from it. And when you understand this, everything you do gets better and better and better. So thank you for joining me in today's short uh, mental game video training. I look forward to talking to you again with further videos on other items that are relevant to you, the tennis player. Talk to you soon.